Hey, this is Jonathan Makara for Fluency Plus Plus. This is part two, two of our mixed series of videos and articles about heaps and priority queues. If you want to catch up with part one, you can find it on fluencybb.com, the blog, and you can find the links in the description just below. In this video, we're going to be building heaps, unbuilding heaps, and sorting heaps with the SDL in C. So let's take the example of a heap. So this is a heap, a max heap, the largest element is at the top, and we're going to insert an element. So this is quite independent from C++. This is how to insert an element in the data structure heap. We're going to add a.a8 .a at the end of the heap, right there. That's not its right position. So we're going to make it bubble up its way through the heap by comparing it with its parent and whenever it's larger than its parent we're going to swap it out with its parent and it's going to work its way up to its final position. So that's how to add something to a heap. In C++ heaps are represented as arrays like in std vectors for example. So we're going to squash down this heap into an array like we saw in part one of this series. Now to add an element we're going to push back the element at the end of the vector and we're going to call std push heap that's going to make it bubble up its way to its final position. So how do we remove an element from the heap? Well actually we can only remove one element which is the top, the largest element of the heap and to do that we're going to use pop heap. So how does std pop heap work? Pop heap starts by swapping out the first element that we want to get rid of with the last element which is one of the smallest ones and then it's going to make that small element which is probably not at the right position at the top it's going to make it bubble down its way to its final position by comparing it to its children and every time it's smaller than one of its children we're going to swap it out with its maximum child to make sure that we keep the heap property and to actually get rid of that element that used to be the top of the heap we're going to do a pop back on the vector now if you think about it, if you do that pop heap repeatedly without popping back the vector, then the largest elements are going to pile up at the end of the heap and they are going to be in a sorted order with a shrinking heap. So if you do pop heap on that shrinking heap repeatedly, it's going to make a sorted vector. And this is essentially what sort heap does. Sort heap takes a heap and sorts it and its complexity is maximum two times n log n. So this is about it, about manipulating heaps with the STL. We've seen how to build heaps with push heaps, how to unbuild heap with pop heaps, and how to sort heaps with sort heap. I hope you're enjoying this series about heaps and priority queues in C++. If you want more videos about data structures in C++ or expressive code in C++ in general, you can just hit that red button just below, subscribe to the video in C++ channel, and if you like this video, why not put a thumb up on it? I would very much appreciate it. And I see you for part three on the Fluent C++ blog, fluentcpp.com, to explore queues and priority queues. Thank you, and I see you next time.